Man can see truth not with the eyes in his head, but with the eyes of the mind. From the Scythian civilization to the time of the caravans on the Silk Road, the extensive areas of the Kazakh steppes have developed into a land of encounters and exchanges. The spread of Islam in the territory of modern Kazakhstan was a process which lasted several centuries. In the beginning, this new religion appeared in southern areas. By the end of the 10th century, Islam had become fixed amongst settled populations and was accepted as the state religion. After the Mongolian conquest, the conquerors tolerated all the beliefs which the people held. However, the conversion of the nomadic nobility to Islam did not mean that the Muslim faith was well assimilated into all segments of society. Indeed, many religions such as Zoroastrianism and Buddhism were already established in the country. From the 13th century, the first Catholic missionaries had entered the territory. They were followed by the Jews in the 14th century. Later on, in the 19th century, the Orthodox Church settled in Kazakhstan. Yet the common people have kept the religious beliefs of their ancestors. Islam blossomed in the 12th century, notably around Turkestan, where the Koja Ahmad Yasawi spread Sufi Islam, adapted for a nomadic way of life. This population became an integral part of the Muslim world. The establishment of Islamic values has played a positive role in familiarizing people with the humanistic tradition of one of the world religions. Holding such universal values as tolerance, peacefulness, and mutual respect, the people of Kazakhstan have turned their multinational, multi-faith history to their advantage and power. inhabitants of Kazakhstan, more than half are Kazakhs. One third originate from Russia, and the rest of the population is composed of Ukrainian, German, Polish, Greek, Uzbek, Uyghur, Tatar, and Korean minorities. These ethnic groups started living together peacefully around the beginning of the 1930s. Their presence in Kazakhstan explains why there are so many different religions in the country today. Renewing its millenary history, Kazakhstan has transitioned through the cornerstone of its multicultural heritage to independence, which will be celebrated on its 20th anniversary in 2011. I was very interested in this country because there were no conflicts between all those multiple nationalities living together. Since we gained our independence, we have the freedom to practice our faith, to build churches, and to open new parishes. When the population is united, the nation stays strong. When there are no interior conflicts, it gives an advantage to the country to develop.
We are working on the development of Islamic culture and education, promoting the tolerance and a liberal attitude towards religions to prevent Islamophobia. We are proud and glad of the fact that Kazakhstan is made up of diversity. We proudly present this fact as the treasure of our country to the world. She calls out to the man on the street And he can see she's been crying She's got blisters on the soles of her feet She can walk but she's trying oh, Just think twice It's just another day for you Just think about it